Hi, good morning everybody. It's the Bean. Um, my voice is a little raggedy still because it's early morning. It's about 7.20 and I'm just uh, getting ready to go to work. Um, and just before I left with my breakfast, I watched a Momo video. Uh, check out um, the Momo Zone uh, on YouTube. And um, I was inspired yet again by Momo, who's just incredible at doing this to um, make this video for this morning. Normally I wouldn't think about doing this in the morning um, before work, but hey, it's time to start something different, I guess. Um, Momo was talking about manifestation and um, and that really means um, putting, putting the thought in your mind of what it is that you want to do, whether it be in the short term or the long term, and then going ahead and doing that, taking the steps in order to reach that goal that you have. And um, and also just and doing what you want to do is, is basically the most important of it. And um, I was thinking back to uh, a couple of situations that I want to share with you. Not of manifestation per se. I, I still need some coaching on that, but um, there's a hint for you, Momo. But um, basically uh, about some great a great feeling that I had in my life and, and one of the best times was um, when I got to speak at Ryerson um, here in Toronto uh, to a front office uh, 101 class which is um, it, it's in, in the league of what I do which is uh, I work in, in the hospitality industry and um, it was the best feeling I think I've ever had standing up in front of a bunch of, of young eager students who really wanted to go into this field um, of hospitality, which I love and have chosen as a career, and um, and being able to tell them about experiences to um, motivate them to sort of just make them say, yes, this is what I want, um, this is such a cool job, you know, all that kind of thing. And um, it was, it was um, a great feeling to be up there, having people listen to your every word and, and knowing that you are able to inspire these people. Um, and that was the best feeling. And um, I'd love to do it again sometime, um, many more times if I could. And looking back on that that day, um, this morning actually, um, looking back on that day, um, I have one other situation that I that just recent, and um, there's been uh, quite a few if I really think about it where I'm thinking that inspiring people is really uh, what I'm meant to do in my life, um, whether it be in my field or outside of my field. Um, I have a lovely person who I work with, and I, I, I do manage people in, in, in the position I am in now, and actually have been doing so for a number of years. And this particular lady um, is really quite wonderful, and uh, we went out to lunch the other day um, just to sort of had have one-on-one -on -one time and talk about things and um, concerns um, about um, her job and uh, and just things like that. And um, sorry, I have to be diplomatic on this, of course. And um, you know, it's very rare nowadays that I'm able to sit down uh, with staff and and have these one-on-ones. I really miss that. Um, but sometimes once you get a lot of responsibility, those things that are so important get put along the wayside, which is really unfortunate. And that's something I do want to turn around um, and, and make more time for. Anyhow, um, we were having this great conversation and um, <laughs> this girl said to me, she says, you know, you're my Yoda. And um, I'm going to, I don't want to get teary eyed just before work, but, um, and it made me feel really good. Um, that I was able, I have known her now for just over two years. We started almost at the same time in different capacities at this place that we now work in. And um, and I've always tried to help her along the way to see her potential and, um, and have her become the best that she can be. And um, we're still striving to let her reach that goal, whether it be in the industry or outside of the industry. Um, to me, it's it's important for somebody to be happy with what they do and and um, realize all that they can do in their life, and uh, 
and it was really wonderful to hear her feedback of how I've helped her. And, um, and she asked me the question, um, because I have uh, some personal issues in my life at this time with my father um, not being well at all, and um, my mother taking a lot of the burden of looking after an ailing um, partner. And, uh, you know, and this lady said to me, she says, you know, where do you get your strength from? She says, because with all the stuff that you need to deal with, you never seem to break down. And, um, and I told her, well, that's on the outside shell. It's not necessarily on the inside. Although when push has come to shove and I've had to step up to the plate in circum certain circum circumstances, um, I haven't broken down, actually. I I've been able to do what needed to be done. And then, you know, afterwards you can give a little cry or um, punch a punching bag or, you know, whatever the case might be. Um, but she asked me where I got my strength from, and um, my answer was my mother. Um, my mom and I, we not, have not always gotten along, um, and to this day we have our, our differences, big differences, um, but she is a strong lady, and I look to her and all that she has done in her life and all the burden that she has, uh, especially now, and it puts me in awe. And... Uh, and I look up to her for that. And uh, when I see that she's able to do that, then I think to myself, well, why, why can't I do that too? And so she is my strength, um, and I love her dearly. And um, anyway, but to get off that personal note, it was just great um, to be able to hear that from somebody. And um, also, a few months ago, we had somebody on staff who decided to go on to something a little bit different, but... I remember him saying, you know, you're always picking on me. And um, and I told him, you know, if I didn't see the potential in you, I wouldn't be bothered to spend time trying to um, make you realize that you can do so much more than what you're doing, that you don't need to be doing these mistakes because they're silly mistakes, and, um, you know, that you know better than this and you're smarter than that. And um, And so if I didn't feel that that person, you know, was worth it, then I wouldn't be spending time on it. And I told him that I believe that he was worth it. And um, he wrote me a lovely letter um, upon his resignation. Again, a very heartfelt, saying that he was re he realized, um, not when he first started, but realized along the way, all that I was trying to do for him. And that he's never had somebody that um, stopped and did that for him. And... Um, that he really appreciated it. And um, it has motivated him to believe in himself more and um, do what he wants to do and, and try and reach his full potential. And he's got my backing anytime, and he knows that. So, you know, it's things like that, um, seeing people move on to higher positions or to something that they really love to do and, and having been part of that, um, it really, really does thrill me and, and hits me in a spot um, that uh, only these things can hit me in. Anyway, so I want to share that with you uh, on this Tuesday morning, August the 12th, for Worldwide Good News. I'm sorry I didn't introduce it in the beginning, but this is for Worldwide Good News, and I hope that you have some great news to share with us today, and uh, I hope you make it a fantastic day. All right? And um, as Momo usually says, peace out.